All right, y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is 6.26 in the morning, and we are out here about to get it in. Isn't that right, Demaya? Yes, we are. So the plan is to get into some fish. And we've been having a lot of, you know, hot weather, so I'm thinking that there's a chance these bowfin might be waking up. <laughs> and I, I really want a bowfin. I really want a feisty, feisty creatures, but like I said, we up early. You know what they say, the early bird gets the worm. And we are the early birds and we're about to get the worms <laughs> to put on the hooks. <laughs> All right, y'all, y'all already know what it is. Stay tuned and hopefully we have some fish. Matter of fact, we'll make sure that we uh, introduce the spot to you guys so that you can see how we planning everything out. So, all right. So y'all ready for this? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! A lot of fish at TV. Welcome, welcome. We are here at the spot. We just we got Porky's. This is a very infamous spot for big channel cats out route two. Now there's a thing that I won't do, keep the large ones. <laughs> I'm thinking that we might have us a really, really good day. I'm bringing out at least two rods so far. I'm gonna fish with one rod for uh, the channel cats. Plus I can get real far out there so I'm not limited on space and where I can cast. I'm thinking that we are gonna have us a blast for day. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. We about to get this started. I don't think it was kind of empty over there, but here we go. About to get this started. I got a three-way rig, but what I'm gonna do with this three-way rig, I'm gonna actually adjust the height of this. And what we're gonna do is hit them up with some cut shad. That's what we're gonna do. Now we got us some cut shad on. And we're gonna get us a epic cast right behind you. I think I might go right to the left of you. Damn. Good roll. Nice bro. Thanks. Alright, we're gonna see what we got. We got some cut shot on here. We're gonna see exactly what we do. We're gonna just do one rod over here. So one rod a piece to get the job done. All right, we got one on Cut Shad, kind of quick. Up, oh, he got off. He got off? Yep. Got right out of his mouth. Let's look at this bait and see what's going on here. See if we still got that bait on there. If we do, then we good. Yep, we still got that bait. Make sure that scale is out the front. Still got a scent, it's still some fresh. I'm way out there, so we ain't got nothing to worry about. Here we go. We got us one on right now. Can it be a both? Oh yeah. He got some backbone to him. That's for dog on shore. Yeah. Got a double up. Look at that. Man, he going way over there. How far did you cast out, brother? Uh, I'm right, right in front of me. <laughs> what is he doing? Dude, he is swimming way up. Oh my God. Excuse me. Let's get. Uh, here we go. He took you over there? Oh my goodness. Come on, man. Don't snag nobody. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, shoot. He always came off. Jesus, boy. Dude, come on. Up. Oh. Oh, we snagged. We tangled up. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hold on. We good. We good. We good. Hold on. Oh, this is a fat old male, dude. Yes, nice fat male. Right where you're at. Oh, that's a beautiful fish right here. Fat male, this is a male channel cat right here. It got in the corner of the mouth. That's why that's, that's why I mess with the reaper hooks, y'all. Let's get that hook out of his mouth if we can. That's what I'm talking about. You can definitely tell your male by the way his head shape. Darker lips, darker mouth, darker at the top of the body. Not as golden. And head is not as rounded as the females. This is definitely a good fish right here. That's what I'm talking about right here. Off a of cut shad. Gonna get her out of here. Yeah. Anything over five pounds, I'm, I'm just putting back in the water. But that dude was riding me. I don't know. Man, I got the gear. I don't know what the hell he was. That fish took me for a good old ride. Good job, man. There you go. 
Well, let's get back out there with the cut shot. You still got some. I still use that same piece. Just hook it in a different spot. All right, I got a fish biting in my line, but I'm waiting for that drag to run. How much power do you got, buddy? There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's see if he's still on there. It seems like he might be swimming towards. Yeah, because when you start doing that and it's still loose, that means he might be swimming right towards me. Got him. Yep. Oh. Thought I did. He might have. Oh, nope. I'm feeling some kind of pressure, am I? Or. Yep, there you go. Had to catch up with him. I think he's swimming right towards this way. There you go. Goodness. Yeah, look at him. He's swimming right towards me. That's why I don't feel much. There you go. Hey, baby. There you go. Right here. And he got that shad. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. There you go. Now, this is the perfect eating size right here. This the one. Yeah, I think this the one. Well, one, I, it's, it's a lot to explain, but I'm going to explain some of it. I'm more of a catch and release person, just more for um, more for the CPR, the, the uh, more trying to help protect the gene pools and the population. That's why I try not to take nothing big, let it grow. Because the big fish is the reason why all these small ones are here. You take all the big fish out, then you tear up the, you, you really, it's, a, it's detrimental if you take all the big fish out. Because the small fish can't produce as many eggs as the bigger ones. The bigger the fish, the bigger the reproduction system. We can keep these out. Keep the worms out in the shade. There we go. Let's get back out there with some more shad. And then, but the most, most important though, the bigger ones just ain't got that good flavor like them young ones. Like a 15 pound fish probably been in the water for 10 plus years. Pull that drag because I'm feeling them. Got him. Got him. Here we go. He's swimming right towards me again. I can feel the pressure. He just ain't, I ain't caught up with him. Because he's, he's moving real quick. Unless he's real small. Here we go. No, I should be all right. But he, oh. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Freshwater drum. Drum? Drum. Freshwater drum. Is that eatable? Huh? Is that eatable? I mean, yeah, but I don't eat them. Is that like a sheep egg? That's what they call them, but the fresh, the oh. main, the main, the proper term is she, uh, freshwater drum. It's definitely a decent length. I would give it about 18 inches. He's not quite the 21 inch that I'm looking for. Uh -uh. Get a re nice release on him. There you go. Go ahead, turn him around. That way he can get out of here. All right, Maya got a fish on. There you go. That's a perfect eating size channel cat right there. That's what you want to take to the crib. That's what you want to take to the crib. All righty. Let's get back spooled and let's get out of here. Let's get back out here. All right, look at the Maya with a fish. What you put? What you? What was you using? Shrimp on the. I mean, a worm on the top. Shad on the bottom. Fresh shad on the bottom. All right, we're gonna actually see exactly what he bit on. We're gonna see exactly what the Maya caught. Hopefully, it's a good old channel cat. They do, they fight so strange out here. Bit the shad. There you go. Little little male. Mm -hmm. That's how you wanna get that done. Nice and dark. Mm-hmm, yeah he is. I noticed a lot of the fish out here, over here, it has been males. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good strategy. I'm gonna clean them out with the... That way you get to the and it comes back on. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no losing nothing. Uh oh. All right, y'all. Here we go, got a fish on. Feel that, I'm gonna fill out for him. Got him. Oh, he feel decent. He feel pretty, pretty decent. I say about three pounds. Or oh, both in, hopefully. <laughs> I said we was gonna get in the both in. We probably won't, but guess what? Hopefully we get one of them good ones. Hopefully we get one. There we go. Yep, I'm feeling them now. I let them work that bait a little bit because I put a bigger piece than usual. Yep. Definitely an aggressive male. There we go. Definitely aggressive male. That's what I'm talking about. Did he get off? Nope, he's still there. He got my line. Trying to get up on the rocks. We got him. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's a nice long one. Got him right there at the corner of the mouth. So, he wasn't going anywhere. Say hello to Demaya. There you go. This, this is another size I will actually take too. He nice and slender though. So we're gonna get a nice little release on him right here. Yes. All right, here we go. Got him. Yep, I got him. Yes, I do. Oh, yep, off the cut shad. Shad been working out just fine for me. He coming in real light unless he's swimming towards me because the way that feel, dude, he's like he's swimming right towards me. Another nice little male channel cat. Look how he look. Tell by them dark mouths, man. You can definitely tell by the dark mouths, y'all. Oh, he almost fell off. Let's go ahead first. Slide, my friend. Let's go. Fish after fish after fish after fish with all the fish in the area we fish and fish in the so damn fun. La 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 la. Demai got a nice one. That there you go. Look at him. That's a real good one. Yep. Look at that muscle structure in that body. I'm about to get some of this just so that we can be comfortable, bro. Too much, too much going on. All right. Put the. It's more, look more like Sloppy Shore. He's skirting out, y'all hear that? <laughs> Got him! Oh, oh he, feel, he looks big. Yeah, he feel a lot nicer than the other ones. It's like he's swimming, see he's swimming right to, hard to the right. Come on, catch up with him. Catch up with him. All right. Got him! <laughs> Boy, he's swimming right towards me. He making life eat. These fish be really swimming towards this way, man. Ah, come on. Yep. I feel it. I feel him now. Oh, yep. Let's get him up here. Mm -hmm. That should be all right up until he get to the bank, though. We just have to see first. There you go. Aggressive male. Aggressive male. Aggressive male. Aggressive male, a real aggressive male. Look at this, man. This is a real good long one. Woo! That man, that's, that's a good one right there. That's definitely six pounds, without a question. Look at that. Look at that baby. That's what I'm talking about. Nice six-pound channel cat. I could tell he was a little bit bigger. He, the way his fight was. Let's get him out of here. Up, oh. up. Oh, he got my shoe wet. It's all right. Oh. We got him though. Oh, he almost. Almost lost my pole. Woo, man! I almost lost this rod, dude. Me too. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Boy, that was almost a catastrophe right there. Okay, everything, okay, I got my stuff back in order. The mile up there working that one, ain't he? What you got going on over there? Tell him stop playing to get up here. That other one just hit Nightcrawler. Loosen your drag, he going, he just taking it. I mean, tighten it up, I mean. It up. Yeah, a little bit more. Oh, got a fish on. Already, off the Nightcrawler. Look at this, off the Nightcrawler. Uh, we fishing with worms, shad, shrimp. Fish with all, uh, multiple baits, here we go. This look like he could be on. Here we go. I'm feeling a lot. I see a lot of activity right here. See if he's still activate, uh, active. There you go. Nope, nope. He's he think he's still there. Yep, he get. Nope, he there. I think he there. I thought I felt something. Or did he? Yep, he got off. He got off. Yep, but that was off the night crawler though. Got you aggressive, male. 
Yep, all right, thanks. Yeah, see, he was trying to take that night crawler. But all right, y'all, stay tuned. You want them? You'll take them? You'll take this last one? Yeah. Whew. You about to have you a good old fish fry, huh? Oh, I never had smoked catfish. They're great. I heard it was real good. You know how to do them, I know how to do them. Right? <laughs> yup, no problem. Yup, thank you. All right, I think I got a fish on. I'm about to figure out right now. Nope. Get off. Get off the hook. I mean, about to be a little upset about that. That's all right, though. That's all right. Ah, there we go. I feel him now. There we go. Nope, I got him. I got him. There you go. See, this, this, can, this can handle it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about the rod or the hook. I'm just know for a fact that this fool might have... Ah, swallowed my hook. I haven't had... I haven't had no channel cat swallow nothing in a long time. There you go. Uh, I lost my hook. Sorry. But what they always say is you wanna... If that ever happens, just leave the hook back there. And what it end up going down is the hook will ride out. So it won't harm the fish though. But you don't ever want to want to kill a fish if you're not gonna keep them. It's just that simple. That's just to sum that up. Alright, the mic got one of her on and I got one playing with my rod. How you feel? Yeah. yeah, don't bring back like that. Remember, always keep that. Keep pressure on. Yeah, yep. Yep, that's how you reel down on them, yeah. That way you don't lose no fish. So far we didn't use shrimp. Man, look at him, boy. He don't want you touching him. Look at that, he don't want you catching him. So far we didn't use shrimp, uh, cut shad, and uh, what's the other bait? Um, night crawlers. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Hear that drag going. Oh. Let's see if we can get them. Just reel down on them. That's the best thing to do. Yep. Just reel down on them. Got them. Yep. Just reel down on them. You don't want to do too much. Here we go. Decent channel cat off shrimp. Woo. Couldn't get into the. It have, didn't get any. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, this. Is, no, I'm good. We got all this shore. There we go. Yeah, this is really good one. Whoa. Yeah, this is a big old female. <laughs> this is a big old female. Oh my goodness. She swallowed my hook. Cut that line. There we go. Cut that line up. Oh. Oh man, that's a whopper female. That's a whopper female for you. There you go. Let's get this nice one back. This definitely, that's definitely about eight pounds right there. It's definitely eight pounds. All right, let's get her out of here. Oh. She, I think she found her way out. We got to keep this one though. Yeah, we're gonna keep him. Cause this one is dying. We had put him back. But I guess I got the hook so far back in his throat and he was floating, so. All right. Let's see what other good stuff we can get popping off. Woo! All right, so we definitely about to get everything cleaned up and we're gonna head to another spot. We did good over here, though. 
I can't say that. We did do good over here. Yes, we did. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.